Okay, it feels like forever since I have talked to you guys like without doing a sit down video. So this feels weird. I, um, <laughs> we haven't really been going out because our car broke down and we got it fixed and it's fixed when my husband fixed it because God forbid he pay anybody to fix our car. <laughs> but because of that, um, we just kind of been not doing as much as we usually do because I am not ready to get on the subway because you know, Delta. <laughs> so um, yes, right now it's Sunday. We are going to go to brunch as usual. Hopefully I get to stop at the Marc Jacobs store because I want to go look at a purse and we're going to do some other shopping. So I'm taking you guys along as always. trying to figure out the last time we've been to this restaurant and we really feel it was like at like maybe about 10 years ago I don't know why it's been so long I guess like you grow up and your your taste change um, but yeah let's see if the food is still as good as it was then So if you watch my end of summer must have video, you saw that I talked about two purses from another store, two hobo bags, and I wanted to go see them in person because I said that I liked it and I wanted to maybe purchase it. So I'm going to take you into and other stories and then we're going to go to Marc Jacobs because I want to see another bag. So all right, let's go. Also though, in that same video, I talked about these sunglasses. I think it was the same video. And if you didn't pick them up, I think they're sold out. They are so good, you guys. guys remember when I said that if that big tote came in leather I would get it well you guys it comes in leather <laughs> now since like four days ago it comes in leather what should I do this is the tote in the big size that I have but it's in leather I might be dying right now I might be dying. All right, so that was a big size. I believe this is the size that says small. And this is the mini that I came in for, but I don't even think that I want that now. like the, the web a puzzle bag doesn't it i hate i'm be honest with you i hate that it says mark jacobs right there but it looks very much like the web a puzzle bag okay so i personally had no idea that that size was coming in leather like i i feel like i manifested that <laughs> i manifested that you guys I don't know. I was went in there to look at the meat, the mini, like I was telling you guys, but I'm really thinking about that large size. That would be good for work if you're back in the office. It would be good for me to put like my computer in when we go out to work. I think that's. I want to think about it, but of course you guys would know if I actually get it. The lady in the store said it's so new that um, 
It might not be on the website yet. So hopefully by the time I put this video up, you see it on the website. Yeah, guys, I am still confused about what to do about that Marc Jacobs. Anyway, the and other stories did not have that bag I was telling you about the last one we went to. So we came up here to go see, um, I think it's a bigger store, to see if they have it in store here. So... One that I was looking at that I told you guys about and it's super cute but that is not the one that I was looking for even though this one is very cute I think I see it and it looks gorgeous After season after season of wearing small bags and medium-sized bags, this just feels ginormous. <laughs> it is beautiful though, it really is. This is also a really cute bag and smaller if the other one is just too big for you. This is really nice, it's leather, really pretty. We came out here, I hope you can hear me. We came out here um, to do some work um, to where we usually go. <laughs> and it is a really nice day. I wanted to come outside though to show you guys the view. And also, I wanted to show you these glasses that I got from the Nordstrom, uh, from Nordstrom Rack, like I was telling you guys about. These are the Fendi pair. And I think these are still in stock. Of course, you know, if anything is in stock, I always link it. But yeah, guys, these are good. These are completely oversized. I hardly have on any makeup, so this is perfect. Also, that new Killian fragrance comes out. The um, apple brandy on ice. Wait, you can't hear me. The train's going by. Hold on. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. New York is hella uh, loud, guys. Anyway, um, that new Killian um, apple brandy on ice, I believe, came out. And I think it's in Cos stores. So, not Cos, what is it called? Cos Bar? <laughs> remember the name but hopefully after this I get to go smell it I don't want to blind buy it because you guys I <laughs> have a few fragrances coming in I can't just keep buying things so I just want to go smell it and see if I need it so hopefully we get a chance to do that but yeah I just wanted to show you what's going on out here show you these glasses and now I have to get back to work three things that I want to smell really quickly. I got the new Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. I got um, a Lalabo Discovery set. I was watching a uh, Lux and Laveau and she was talking about this set that I'll talk about later. Well, not this set, but she was talking about Lalabo and I wanted to try it. Then I got that new Kayla Lee um, invite only, just a smaller sample because I just wanted to smell it. And yeah, let me get to smelling. Okay, so here's the bottle. It looks like the other ones. Um, and you guys, I just sprayed it. I'm not quite sure what I was expecting. I will say though that it is very unisex. It's not very sweet, even though I do detect some sweetness. Sweetness. It's very boozy, but very unisex. 
I will come back to you in a second. I want to smell the other ones, but I don't dislike it. <laughs> It's not love at first sniff, I will say that, but I don't dislike it. So like I said, I got the smallest size because you guys, to be honest, I haven't been absolutely thrilled with any of these K.I.L.E. Um, perfumes yet out of the ones that I've smelled, except for Musk. Musk, I did buy a big bottle of. I really need to stop watching videos before I purchase it myself and get a smell for it or get it my own, develop my own opinion about the smell. Because I've seen people um, compare this to Angel Share, and I gotta be honest, I don't smell it. This is why I get the small bottle. Like again, I'm gonna let it develop a little bit and give you guys more of my opinion. But again, not to love at first sniff. Gotta be honest. And this is the discovery set from um, the Labo. Like I said, I learned this from Lesson LaVa. I was watching one of her videos and um, she was saying that if you're familiar with Lulavo, you know that you could only get certain scents in certain cities. Um, and this is, I don't remember each city here and I'll smell them later and, and kind of give you my opinion. But there's one that I wanted to smell, which was I believe this one was the one in Paris. And since I won't be going to Paris for a while because of the state of the world right now. I did want to kind of get my nose on it and tell you guys quickly what I think and I guess in another video I will talk about these. But I wanted to smell that one and um, see if I wanted a full bottle. Now that this has been on me for a little bit, I do smell a little bit of a comparison between this and Angel Share, like a little bit. Um, would I buy this over Angel Share? No, I would not. But I do see, I do smell the sweetness and the warmth. I don't know. I just, um, Angel Share for me still wins. But I, I don't know, guys. I, I haven't been completely impressed. And maybe I just haven't smelled the right one. I haven't smelled all of them. But I haven't been completely impressed. Hey, girl, hey. So, yeah, guys. I just, um... <laughs> got all those fragrances in today. I know that I've been um, really trying to focus this channel on fashion, but I still really love fragrance. So I figured like my beauty and my fragrances and everything else, that lifestyle part, that beauty and lifestyle part would be in my vlogs. Um, so I am now wearing, still wearing the Killian and um, I feel like the sweetness, the little bit of sweetness that I did smell before, I feel like it's gone. It is not a bad fragrance, but I will say I don't. It wasn't love at first sniff, like I said before. You know some things you just smell and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> this wasn't it. It's not bad, it's definitely unisex. I would even say that it leans a little more masculine. Um, I don't know, if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Because this point in my life, I really just want everything that I have, like my my beauty, my fashion, my everything um, to be a love, not just a eh. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to wear it today. No, I'm actually gonna wash this off and wear it tomorrow. Because right now we're going to dinner and I want to wear um, Baccarat Rouge Extract. Extract, extract. <laughs> Um, so that's why I'm kind of getting ready doing a little bit of makeup here But I will let you guys know if I send it back or not. Like I said, it's not bad if you usually like scents that are more masculine leaning and Even though I do feel like it's unisex um, This would be a good option. Like I said, the sweetness just went away um, It might be good to be layered with something else that's sweet because I like the bones of it if that makes sense and I really have not had time to sit down and go through all the the Labo fragrances I'm gonna do that tonight so that if there's one I like I, I can order it because it's limited time and then like the K.I.L.E. you guys I really want to give that a good try and maybe there's other ones that I can try but I just haven't been haven't been um, impressed by it, so I don't know. Anyway, that's that. We're about to leave, and I get back to you. So, in the last vlog, I believe it was the last vlog, I asked you guys what you did today, that day, to make yourself feel beautiful. And I think in this vlog, I want to ask what you did recently to make 
another woman feel beautiful. I feel like a lot of times we admire women, women from afar and we don't tell them. I always do. Just because I know when somebody gives me a compliment, um, I, I don't know, it just makes me feel good. So I like to give that to somebody else. So when was the last time you gave a woman a compliment? <laughs> and what was it? I'll go first. This lady I saw recently in Target is just, to me, it was absolutely stunning. She didn't have any makeup on, she wasn't really dressed to the nines, but it was just, somehow you could feel somebody's spirit. Her face was beautiful, she had the highest of the highest cheekbones, her skin was amazing, and I just had to tell her. Um, and she just lit up, and she was just, we were just friends for the rest of that time in Target, and we were just having a good time. So. When's the last time you did that? Well guys, I think I'm gonna stop the vlog here because I'm gonna start a new one. We are on our way to uh, dinner by the beach at the ocean where we went to before in the other vlogs. And um, yeah, we'll pick it up then. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.